Hey guys, we got another quickie review for you. And uh, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this uh, Bowser uh, 100 ton coal hopper uh, decorated for Canadian National. Um, I've had this car for quite a while, just never got around doing a review for it. But I figured I better uh, get these uh, freight cars that I've had for a little while reviewed or that I plan to review out of the way and uh, before some of the uh, locomotives. The first of, I believe, three new locomotives started arriving. So, um, so I just kind of want to get some of the smaller stuff out of the way. But anyway, uh, just talking about the car here. Um, sits in a nice, sturdy box. Uh, the car itself resides in a uh, cradle there that you see. So it should protect them all very nicely in storage and transport. Very nice presentation on the box. Of course, the iconic green box with the bowser logo um, now this is not their executive line this is kind of their uh, standard line so they're a little cheaper um, i know it says on the uh it's, little, it's upside down but it says uh, 28.99 on the uh on the price tag there i would suggest shopping around you can find them cheap much cheaper than this uh so yeah uh, like i said i just just uh, shopping around uh but anyway, all that being said, there's a look at the car resting inside. It's got slick paper wrapped around it. I'm going to try and get that out right quick. We'll uh, figure out a way to undo it here. Of course, it's taped in. So there we go. So it's kind of sticky there or don't come apart, which is good. So we'll set the car on there just like that. Uh, much like the uh, Walder's uh, mainline 7,000 cubic foot uh, Greenville wood chip car we reviewed in the last video, uh, not a whole lot of separately applied details on this car, um, but still very, very nice, uh, solid car, should resist some handling and uh, take a little bit of abuse, and I believe right there it's got kind of a bent step in right there, but that's okay, nothing big, nothing huge wrong right there, but... Uh, just overall, we'll zoom in on it right here, and we'll start at the front here at this B end here, like so. Uh, again, you can see some of the uh, brake detailing inside here. Just pretty basic stuff right here. Um, got your brake wheel, got a platform there. Uh, got your ladders right here. Of course, no freestanding grab irons. Everything's kind of molded in place right there. Uh, you got your steps right here. Uh, you might notice that one there is kind of bent in a little bit, but that's not a big deal. Um, come down the side here. I'll zoom out where you guys can get a look at the side. Right there. Very nice decaling on the side. Everything's readable and legible under magnification. Um, got your CN Noodle logo right here. Canadian National with the road number right here looks really good. All the data markings again look good and, are, and look readable and legible. So we'll come around to the rear. Again, not a whole lot going on right back here. There's your uh, knuckle coupler right there. Uh, not sure if this is a KD or if this is a Bowser's own coupler, um, but it does appear to be a metal coupler. Yeah, it is indeed metal, so because uh, my screwdriver's magnetized and it's sticking to it, so uh, you got a metal knuckle coupler right there. Uh, you can see the metal wheels right there. looks really good. Again, not a whole lot going on right there. Come around to the other side. Again, same story, second verse. Got, uh, got some pretty good looking trucks there with the uh, 36 inch wheels. I believe those are 36. Right there. Yep, 36 inch wheels, 100 ton trucks. Wheels look really nice. I'll tilt that up where you can see it a little better. But yeah, that looks really, really good right there. Uh, we'll turn the car over. Come down the side again, not much in the way of detailing, but still a very solid car. It should really resist some handling. Looks really, really good. Whoops. Didn't mean to tilt it down there. So, um, and then back to the. Back to the front there with the uh, brake wheel and everything. So, yeah, not a whole lot 
really uh, as far as detail, but real quick, we'll take a look at the inside before I forget. So I'll tilt it over where you guys can see that. So yeah, there's the inside of it right there. Looks good. So yeah, just a quick short little review on that. Uh, good solid car, especially if you want something for the beginners. Uh, or if you're just looking for more, I guess if you want to call it budget-friendly cars. Um, this should fit the bill real nicely. So, yeah. All right, guys. I'll take a look at the review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll catch you on down the road. Take care, all. Bye for now.